how'd that go then? Because uh, I ended up spending like £215 or something, went all on food, like Burger King, McDonald's, went easy. I could have just like bought, I don't know, a pack of salami, some cheese and a baguette, and that would have lasted me all through the week. I did wrong there, that was just, you know. Yeah, it didn't really go to plan. No, no they, not. I think we, we ended up. Was it quite up, hard to do then? Yeah, it was. It, well, yeah, the amount of really money I spent on food, I could have used that money to go see like landmarks and stuff like that. Like, I didn't even go up the Eiffel Tower. I mean, to be um, honest, you don't really need to go up the Eiffel Tower. You can pretty much see it's a pretty spectacular view from mm. the ground. But you can go around the various sites. I mean, so you can go, you can go to the Arc de Triomphe. And, yeah, you and said so. you went up to a building like next to the Eiffel Tower, was it? And like you got yeah, to the same was, height yeah, it was the big skyscraper. You go up there for about five euros, and it's like cheaper. Isn't must it? be a bit better than going up the Eiffel Tower because you can see the Eiffel Tower from the building. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And the rest of everything. Probably, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So anyway, what 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 is it? Is it graffiti? Did you, did you, did you, did yeah, graffiti, um, I went with my group um, to film some graffiti. We went to find the most interesting pieces we could, and basically we went all around uh, Paris and went to a place called Belleville and also Montmartre, I think it was. Nice. And it just seemed to be everywhere, really, like on top of the rooftops and just, uh, icons and political graffiti, like all kinds of stuff we found, really. <laughs> and welcome to Paris. Today we're going to take a wander around to find the coolest graffiti and find out what the locals' opinions are on it. Graffiti seems to have reached every inch of Paris, influencing and enhancing the sublime culture of this historical city. Surprisingly, it even covers some of the cars and vans, but this doesn't seem to bother the owners. The graffiti is diverse and distinctive themes and colours make the majority of it very eye-catching. Lots of the graffiti is placed up high, in hard to reach places so it can easily be seen from the road. This shows the lengths Parisian graffiti artists will go to in order to get their artwork seen. Here in uh, Pompidou with uh, uh, Jim, uh, what's your name again? Almod, and uh, he's a painter in Pompidou. Um, so how long, how long have you been doing this one now? This one from yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Um, and how long have you been doing it in, in over, overall? Nearly 30 years. Really? Really. Um, what, um, what, 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 what motivates you to do, do this? In. Yeah, I'm. An artist, and I make also other pictures with uh, with, uh, with oil colors, but I don't sail so much. <laughs> so I spend my life with this. Oh, it, look, it looks fantastic. Thank you. It's, um, uh, is it? It, um, it almost looks kind of surreal. Like um, yeah, um, normally I'm surrealist. Yeah, surrealist. Okay. Um, do you like much uh, Salvador Dali? Yes, it's, I love yeah. him. It's the 
king of serious. <laughs> okay, well, um, all I can say is keep doing what you're doing. It looks bloody fantastic. Thank you. Oh, no, I will shake your hand. Cheers, thank you. Various icons and political statements are also scattered around the city, some of it stenciled and some of it freehand. Sprawled across an urban landscape, the artwork adds character and originality to the architecture. Plain looking buildings are suddenly transformed into something interesting to look at. The graffiti becomes a part of Parisian culture and the character of the city, bringing it to life. Whatever your view on graffiti, there is no doubt that it has made Paris a more colourful place. around Paris, it's clear that it is a huge part of Parisian culture, but the question is, does it enhance that culture or take away from it? Yeah, I really like that one. It's uh, got some good yeah, cultural, uh, cultural quite well experience to that one, yeah, because yeah. I quite like the, um, the graffiti that was on the, uh, on, like, the vehicles and stuff. Yeah. How on earth they get it on there? Just there's a lot of vans and cars everywhere covered in it. And they don't seem to mind, which is quite yeah. weird. You wouldn't get that in England. You yeah, just go, back, go to a cut back to your car park, you've got some rude words sprayed onto your car. That you take it straight away. But yeah, yeah. Only Top yeah. Gear can do that. So that's, but, uh, it's more like artwork over there. There's not just scribbles kind of yeah, thing. It's yeah. like really well done kind of thing. Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's really, really cool how they get to such, um, such restricted places. I mm. mean, I went, I went down to the, uh, the metro and like on the trains, they got them all sprayed on the side of the trains and even on like the um, the tires. Like, the, uh, yeah, it really seems to get everywhere. Like, they get like absolutely everywhere. On the rooftops a lot as well. Yeah, in yeah. my opinion, it's nice to see it there though. It's good to yeah. see a bit of graffiti. That's a bit of culture to Paris, I guess. But yeah, they're really good artists. Really good artists. Yeah, it's quite a lot of lengths to get a scene, I guess, but it's good though. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so uh, speaking, of, uh, speaking of talent, what was yours all about? Uh, well, it was busking. Oh, right. uh, went there, went to a couple of hotspots. 